In the book Looking for Pythagoras in Problem 4.2, we have a baseball diamond, and we're going to use this baseball diamond. We're, we're actually going to use the Pythagorean theorem because we have a nice square. A diamond is really, a baseball diamond is just really a square turned. And so we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find all kinds of distances on a baseball diamond because it is simply a, a tilted square. And the idea in this problem is we have this scenario. We have Horace Hansen, and he's the catcher, so he's here at home plate. And there's a person on first base, and they're going to steal second base. And so the, the catcher, Horace in this case, in this problem, has to throw the ball from home plate down to second base. So we need to make this throw this distance. And we know on a baseball diamond it's 90 feet to each base. So 90 feet and 90 feet. So the runner has to run 90 feet. But the catcher, the question is, how far does the catcher have to throw the ball from home plate if they were exactly on home plate all the way down to second base? So I'm going to make a line on here. So we really want to know this distance, which now really simply becomes the hypotenuse of a right triangle. Now, there's a couple ways we can do this. One is simply to square both side lengths. So we have 90 and 90. These are our legs. So 90 squared is 8,100. And 90 squared is another 8,100. So we're using the a squared plus b squared equals c squared idea of right triangles or the Pythagorean theorem. So now we have a squared and b squared, and we put them together. 8,100 plus 8,100 equals 16,200 would be the c squared. It would be this value. So c squared equals 16,200. So to actually just simply to find this length across from home plate to second base, we need to take the square root of c squared and the square root of 16,200. So to find c, which if we take the square root of 16,200, that will give us the distance, 127.3, we'll round that off, approximation, because we have an irrational number here in our answer. We don't know what it does here past the 6. So we round that up to 0.3. So 127, 127.3 feet is the distance from home plate to second base. And that's how far the throw would be if we were throwing from home plate to second base. So that's our first calculation, home plate to second base. That's 127.3 feet. And so again, we're just using, using the Pythagorean theorem. Now, the other interesting thing about this triangle that's created here is it's actually what we would call a 45-45-90 triangle. So we have two 45-degree angle part, parts and a 90-degree angle part. Really, we have the diagonal of a square. And one of the things that's true of all squares diagonals is if you just take this one side length and you multiply it by the square root of 2, so 90 times the square root of 2, you will get that distance. Because every diagonal of square is just simply a larger variation of a single square. And every time you expand it out either direction, you're just simply enlarging that square this would be 90 and 90 squares, and so we had 90 square roots of 2 across. So again, I could use that. could have simply done my calculation by taking 90 times the square root of 2, and I actually get the same solution, 127.3 feet across. So it's another way. If a particular triangle has those features, then I can use that feature that there's a 45 degree angle here and a 45 degree angle here and a 90 which is really half a square and I can use that method for finding that distance across. Now what if we wanted to find a different distance? For example, what if the shortstop was standing exactly halfway between second and third base? 
So the shortstop stands in this area generally, but what if we said he was right there, which I think is about center between the two, which would be half of 90, which is 45 feet from either second or third base. And so if I were to think of a triangle, a right triangle in this case, that extends to that point from home plate. So if we need to throw it from here to there, we actually have a nice right triangle here. And that right triangle has legs of 90 and 45. So we have a distance of 45 and a distance of 90. These are the two legs. And so now to find that distance again, I can use the Pythagorean theorem and I can square these side lengths, so 45 squared. So I can do that calculation and get 2,025. And I can take 90 squared, which we already know is 8,100, and put those two together. So 8,100 plus 2,025 gives me 10,125. So it's my a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So 2,025 plus 8,100 equals 10,125. And that's not the distance from here to here. That's the area of the square out here. So I have to take the square root of that. That's c squared. And I need c. So c is the square root of 10,125. And so I can find that by taking the square root of 10,125. And so in my calculation, the square root of 10,125 is 100.6 approximately. So we have to round it off. So we'll go 100.6 feet from home plate to the shortstop. If it was halfway between the two locations. So not quite as far of a throw. So again, we go home to shortstop. Use that distance of 100.62. We'll just round it up to 6 feet. So a little more than 100 and a half feet. A little more than a half a foot from there. And again, we can use, simply use the Pythagorean theorem to find all kinds of distances. One of the distances we know that is set in baseball is where the pitcher's mound sits, which is right here. And it's, it's actually not quite centered. It's a little bit forward toward home plate. And it's actually at 60 feet, 6 inches, which is 60.5 feet. And knowing that calculation, then we could figure out how far it is from the pitcher's mound to second base by taking this away from the 127 or realizing this is halfway between first base and third base and so again all of those distances we can find all of these distances using the Pythagorean theorem any distance we want to know for the most part on the diamond in the using the Pythagorean theorem we can find any of those locations where things should be and it is one of the ways that a baseball diamond is squared up. If people want it to actually be square, they use these calculations and measurements to say, okay, this has to be exactly 127.3 feet apart, and we need to make sure that this is a right angle, and so all these distances, again, can be found using the Pythagorean theorem. And so that should give you a good start on problem 4.2. There's a few other questions that go along with it, but the idea is, again, using the Pythagorean theorem, I can find any one of these distances I need. I just need to know how to use a squared plus b squared equals c squared, or the idea that the area of the leg squares add up to the area of the hypotenuse square. And then we take the square root of that, and we get our solution, whatever it is we need.